Oh, hello there, boils and ghouls. I didn't even know you guys were there. I just get so lost in a good book. Hey, speaking of good books, you guys might recognize this one. It's a New York Times bestseller, right up there with Tuesdays with Gory and the five people you meet in hell. And it's the subject in tonight's cult classic, the third installation in the legendary Evil Dead series. That's right, tonight's Freak Fest focus is Army of Darkness! Woo! Woo! Spring break! Yeah! Um, This is our more mainstream episode hoping to attract some novice horror aficionados. So, if you haven't seen the film's prequels, Evil Dead Original and Evil Dead 2, Dead by Dawn! Take a second, swing by your local video store, pick up the DVDs, and slit your wrists with them. Or just rent them and watch them. Zing! There's really not a lot I can say about Army of Darkness. It was written by Sam Raimi and his brother Ivan, um, directed by Sam, starring Bruce Campbell, had a medium budget of about 11 mil, and uh, grossed twice as much. It pretty much picks off where Evil Dead 2 left off, so uh, to get you up to speed, we're gonna play that rotten recap. Roll that beautiful bean footage. Um, hardware, aisle 12. I had a wonderful girlfriend, Linda. Together we drove to a small cabin in the mountains. It seems an archaeologist had come to this remote place to translate and study his latest find. Necronomicon Ex Mortis, the Book of the Dead. It was never meant for the world of the living. The book awoke something dark in the woods. It took Linda. And then it came for me. It got into my hand and it went bad. So I lopped it off at the wrist. But that didn't stop it. It came back, big time. Now, Ash is stuck in what is supposed to be medieval England, where he must fight the demons that have been plaguing a local village. One thing I always liked about Army of Darkness is that it tries to be as historically accurate as possible. The film was actually shot on location in Bronson Park, California, whose desert-like terrain was perfect for the English setting. This is actually where the film The Scorpion King, starring sexy Samoan and my after-hours manservant, The Rock, was shot. Because England and Egypt are pretty much the same country. Yep. After being deemed the chosen one by the villagers, Ash embarks on a journey to reclaim the Necronomicon and end this silliness once and for all. When thou retrievest the book from its cradle, you must recite the words Klatu, Verata, Nictu. It's time to play Who Wants to Be a Necronominator? <laughs> For control of the Necronomicon, an end to the demonic plague, and an all inclusive one way trip back to 20th century normal life, here's your question. Are you ready, Ash? Let's go. These are the magic words that need to be uttered before you can safely remove the Necronomicon, lest you unleash the full horrific power of the Army of Darkness and kill thousands of innocent people. A. Klaatu Verata Necti B. Klaatu Verata Nikto Or C. Flavor Flav! Necktie, nectar, nickel. Oh, noodle. It's an N word. It's definitely an N word. It was definitely an N word. You look a little stumped. Do you want to pull the audience? Okay, Ash. What is your final answer? Klaatu, Mirada, <laughs> Oh, I'm sorry. No. Wrong answer. Prepare to wake the dead. After rousing the ancient evil from its slumber, Ash takes refuge from the evil entity hot on his tail in an abandoned windmill. 
However, little does he know the real evil is already inside with him, as he was bitten by the evil book, and now does the only logical thing. Spun little mischievous ashes who wreak havoc on him Gulliver's travel style in this hilarious segment. <laughs> Ramming speed! London Bridge is falling down, falling down, falling down. My fair lady, ha! You know, that reminds me of the time I spawned little Mikos. Yeah. A little more kissing. Come on now, Lefty. Don't be shy. You can't do this. This isn't right. Don't you see how big I am? I'm big, and you're not. This is madness. Madness? This is Sparta! <laughs> Good times? Good times. Even though he has unleashed the army of darkness, Ash does in fact end up defeating them with the power of his supreme futuristic intellect that allows the villagers to build catapults, gun stuff, and a pretty awesome battering ram out of his crappy old yellow beater. Say, Miko, if you were going to defeat the army of darkness, how would you do it? Pokemon. Pokemon? <laughs> Chia! Can you say Squirtle Squad? Squirtle Squirtle! Everyone knows the SS is great for wiping out all the world's demons! <laughs> say, Andrew, did you know that Sam Raimi's brother Ted actually has four cameos as completely different characters in this film? See if you can spot him in this next scene. Uh, right, there, there he is, right there. You see him? That's him, right there. Ted Raimi. That looks like Waldo. Looks like you don't know what the f you're talking about. You know, if anything makes this film a cult classic and its hero a cult legend, it's Ash's pithy one-liners. What's that I smell? Oh, I think it's a montage. First you want to kill me. Now you want to kiss me. Blow. Give me some sugar, baby. Good. Bad. I'm the guy with the gun. Just me, baby. Groovy. And finally, everyone's favorite. This is my boomstick! It's time to play. Which, Which is funnier? This is my boomstick! If I had a nickel for every time a guy wanted to show me his boomstick, I'd have way too many nickels! If I had a nickel for every time a guy wanted to show me his boomstick, I'd have way too many nickels, Uncle Larry. Yeah. You were asking for it, you damn little tease. You know you're always my favorite. <laughs> to vote for joke number one, Good Queen Fun, press the left panel on your touchscreen TV now. To vote for joke number two, offensive, incestuous molestation humor, press the right panel now. You have voted for Offensive Incestuous Molestation Joke. Thank you for voting. Anyway, I'm sure you guys can all guess what happens at the end. That's right, Ash is way too badass, defeats the evil, and makes his way back to his awesome life where he makes minimum wage at S-Smart, because it sure beats playing Autocolis and Xena Warrior Princess. Am I right, Bruce? Well kids, that's it for our Army of Darkness episode, so if you have the time, go out and grab the Director's Cut DVD because it's got lots of cool extras, including a pretty awesome alternate ending. Yeah, this episode's gonna have an awesome alternate ending. <laughs> well, good night and good fright everyone.